We see a lot of different types of rescues at Helen Woodward Animal Center and they all impact us in various ways and change our hearts and make us grow and learn. But one of the most impactful rescues that we've ever seen happened in July. The Humane Society of the United States did a seven month investigation on a lab testing breeding facility in Virginia. It is a facility where they just breed puppies for lab testing. When you actually see what's going on in these facilities, it will absolutely break your heart. What they found when they did this seven month investigation were over 70 animal welfare violations. So these dogs were in facilities crammed together with a bunch of other dogs. Many of them had been there for years, never having seen the sun, never having any human kindness. They had terrible teeth, they were malnourished, they were underweight, they were being euthanized when they could have been saved. And what's really terrible is that there are over 10,000 other facilities just like this across the country. When suddenly that facility was closed, there were suddenly 4,000 beagles that needed a place to go. So the first 400 that went out, Helen Woodward was one of the very first organizations to raise their hand and say, please let us help. So 43 beagles came out to Helen Woodward Animal Center in July. I think the thing that was the most shocking and moving for all of us is that we see a lot of transports come in and we see these doors open and there's barking and there's the dogs are experiencing fear and excitement and concern. But when the doors opened on that van, it was silent, which is something that we've never seen. And we suddenly realized we were dealing with a very different situation because these dogs truly had never ridden in a car. They didn't know what that experience was or being put in a transport carrier or maybe even being pet. These dogs were experiencing things for the very first time. The very first thing we did was get their, all their medical checks done and get them immediately that very night into foster. It was important to us that they spend their very first night in San Diego or in a loving home, that they get to experience what a bed was, what a couch was, what a bowl was. What we found is that these dogs literally didn't, uh, they had never walked on grass, they had never walked on carpet. And they were with us for months as we worked with them through their medical care and their dentals and getting them spayed and neutered. And of of course, many of these mommy dogs had had tons of litters of puppies, so their spay surgeries were very complicated and took longer to heal from. I actually think that the silver lining on it is the education that it provided to people across the world who ended up seeing what was happening to these beagles. Currently, these facilities are technically legal. A lot of products today are being made so that they are not tested on animals and we highly celebrate those products. We do encourage people to research, find out what's happening, speak to your local representatives, and please consider donating to facilities like Helen Woodward Animal Center that is willing to get out there and help to try to change this and help these animals when they are in need. We really did our due diligence to make sure that each one of these dogs found their perfect forever home. We had applications that they filled out. We found out what each of these people um, was willing to do and how much time they were willing to give to make sure that these pets really learned what it was like to be in a loving home. Well, we weren't sure quite what to expect at first. We found out right away that any noises would be very upsetting to her. We knew a little bit about where she was coming from, but we weren't really sure what we needed to give her. We just let her show us what she needed. We're still receiving photos from these Beagle families. We're seeing all the wonderful new experiences these Beagles are having. To see the way that these Beagles have adapted to their new lives, that they're willing to forgive us, that they are willing to grow and heal. She didn't know how to play with toys. She'd never had a toy before. One of her favorites is it's a little lamp. She plays with it and she throws it up in the air and she runs around with it. And one day we were getting ready for our walk in the morning and she picked up her lamp and she carried it for 45 minutes all around the neighborhood. And it was the cutest thing. It was just precious. At first when she was playing with the lamb, she'd go through the house and, and just cry with it in her mouth. And, and we didn't understand why she was doing that. And when I was talking to some of the other dog owners, they thought maybe she thinks it's one of her puppies and she's afraid someone's going to take it away from her like it happened to her in that facility. It's amazing that these little guys can come out of it as well as they have. They are our teachers. When we see animals like this every day, it makes me want to be a better person. And there are ways that you can help. All you need to do is donate, adopt, 
and constantly educate yourself on what's happening in the world of animal welfare. One of the exciting things about working at Helen Woodward Animal Center is being a part of the solution, of seeing the way that this organization jumps in to fix what is broken and heal what is hurt. And when you donate to Helen Woodward Animal Center, you become a part of that solution. If you want to make an impact and change and see the hardships that we see in the animal welfare world actually heal, all you need to do is join us and be a part of it. And by donating, you get to do that. You get to actually save lives. There are so many puppies out there that need homes. I hope that others can learn from seeing the Beagle Rescue that they would like to bring a rescue in rather than go to a breeding facility.